you, Angela. Welcome, everyone. My name is Angela Mills. I work for the town manager here in the town of Amherst. This is a meeting of the town of Amherst Public Arts Commission. Due to the continuation of the suspension of some of the open meeting laws, this meeting will be conducted via Zoom webinar format. And we thank our wonderful governor for that. And at this time, I would like to recognize Tom Warger and Terry Holt, the co-chairs, and I will turn it over to them. Thank you, Angela. Thank you. Thank you, Angela. So um, Angela kind of said most of the preamble, but um, I'm gonna say welcome to the Amherst Public Arts Commission meeting of April 3rd, 2024. Um, as you know, uh, we're all, uh, how do I say this? Okay, members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so by clicking on the Zoom link. Uh, this recording gets uploaded to the town's YouTube channel after our meeting. Uh, no in-person attendance by members of the public is permitted at this time. Every effort is made to ensure the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. Um, I think that's about it. Um, I'm going to do a quick roll call and then I'm going to turn it over to Tom, my co-chair, who has done an amazing job getting together this agenda and doing uh, so much work in the last months. So I'm really, really grateful for Tom. Uh, I'm sitting here with a, uh, I just got out of surgery on Friday on my knee, so I'm kind of laid up and doing well though. I'm, I'm healing really well. Um, so I see Mikey is here and Lori is here and Jim is here and Tom is here and Terry is here. Um, I have not heard, I've not, I heard from Dara. I know yeah, Dara I, did not make it. I heard from Robert. He won't, he won't be here either. Okay. So I think, uh, I think we're it. All right. So we'll go right on ahead and I turn it right over to you, Tom. Thanks so much. Okay. Um, let me try some screen sharing here. Uh, did I, you, do you have the power here? I don't know that I do. I saw something. Oh, that was Laurie. Laurie is turning into a sign. <laughs> Laurie's here. Oh, she'll be right back. Um, I might have had the, I might have the power. Um, do you uh, want me to pull up the agenda, the agenda or what would you like? Me uh, here's the, let's, nope, let's, let's, do the, let's do the minutes maybe first. Well, okay. Okay, wait. Um, oh, it's not me. It is you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here, here is the agenda. All right. Does everyone have? The, did everyone get and retrieve and have in front of them the the agenda? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So we got we got a lot, a lot to try to cover today, and including a couple of items that we really, really need to do. So I'll try to. Try to get us um, able to to do those, but let's start with now with the minutes. Okay. So again, if you have your own, so much the better. Uh, do I have the attendance correct for this? Is going all the way back to February. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jim was not in that one. Yeah, that's all right. Nope, I couldn't come. You have the meeting was called together at time. I've um, just fixed that to make it six six oh five. Six oh five. How about if I move the minutes be approved as submitted? I second that. Okay. Um all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, the the minutes are are approved. Thank you, everybody. All right, going to the agenda. Okay. I immersed. Are you showing the agenda? Because I'm not seeing it. I I see it. Huh? I see it. Okay. I must have something going on here. Well, the next item is Electrify Amherst. I've got happily the printed one on my desk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, Electrify Amherst is one of the items that we need to try to resolve today. There are kind of two aspects to this. One is that the funding 
came up short of what was requested. So we need a decision on how many boxes to undertake and how much we're going to pay the artists as um, as a fee and as an allowance for um, for paint and other and other materials. So we have eight hundred and seventy five approved. Is, is is that correct, Terry? It's actually I think I, the grant was for eight fifty. Eight fifty. Okay. I had asked for enough for three boxes, which would have been. Uh... I think I think I asked for fifteen hundred plus materials, so I think I might have asked for seventeen. Mm, okay. um, we got eight fifty. Um, the going rate in other towns has been basically five hundred dollars a payment per artist. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know the cost of paint. That's kind of something I got to figure out. But do, so do we know, know what we paid for the last ones that were done? I mean, it was several years ago, so costs mm. have gone up. But no, I've I've not been able to to find that amount. Well, I could get it, but it's, I I don't think I can get it in a timely manner. I have a. I may have a file, but I might need to look it up. I'm darn well, I've got one, but I I don't think I can find it in a timely manner. We're trying to get through it in an hour. I think um, the prices have been pretty steady, as like four or five hundred dollars per 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 um, artist. Really. And does that like, include that? Doesn't include materials? I don't believe it does. Five hundred okay. does not seem excessive to me by any means. Yeah, no, it doesn't sound like a lot to me either. No. What if we had well, more money? In any event, to go ahead with this, we're going to have to supplement the the uh, granted funds. Uh, and presumably that comes out of our uh, commission's uh, budget. If that's, if that's the way we're going to go, then I guess it leads to points quickly to the question of whether to try to do two or three two. boxes. How, how much do we have in our budget available? <laughs> That's a pretty big. <laughs> what if uh, not here either? What if we had a donation from somebody to pay for the? I, I know somebody that might donate. Yeah, me too. I think if we could make up funds also from some uh, businesses, especially if we uh, ask mm -hmm. the um, downtown uh, the business improvement yeah. district, I think we could actually supplement mm -hmm. uh, the cost. We could off off. What's that word? Off. Anyway, we could get some help with the cost. Especially, uh, so, well, if one of them is, if one of the boxes is in the business district. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, um, maybe we should do all the boxes in areas that we could uh, possibly have businesses help. I okay. think we should do three at least. That's okay. my, that's my, that's my hope. Yeah. And I, then 500 bucks each and then think about material costs. That's what I would agree with also. Um, so, I believe we, I believe we have over a thousand dollars in the account. If I can remember back to the last time we did know. Well, we better have five thousand somewhere. Five thousand? Yeah, we we really should. <laughs> well, does that... the town still have that? That question has never been answered thus far. I'm still they've waiting for an it. answer. Yeah, they've kept that. Well, yeah. it's it's in the town, but they've kept it. Yeah. And that's not where it should be. Well, I think that we need to ask for it to be used for public art. And this is a very good reason to use that. Right. Yeah. Okay. I think we can probably, again, my opinion, uh, I'm not trying to summarize any kind of decision yet for the committee, but my opinion, I think we're close enough that we should, we should decide what we need to for today and then also go after this question of where do those remaining grant funds go and are they usable? Yeah, so I, I move that we that we uh, right now approve the use of funds to fund three boxes for this year. Second. Do we I have a question. Second? What's the timeline on this project? This okay. will be, we'll put out a call for art in the spring and this will probably be done in the summer. Is my okay. guess. Is that about right, Tom? Um, it was in the, <laughs> this is one snippet I do have from the past. And that is that it was done, it, it, done in the fall. Mm -hmm. the boxes were actually painted in October. Um, my suggestion is that we 
we want to give Angela a posting date so she can start pulling the materials together. So when do we put out this call? How long do we give uh, artists to respond? How long do we think we need to review uh, the selections and make and then a date where we would post, uh, you know, get in touch with people and notify them and post the results. So working backwards, I'd say if we want to be painting in October, that we want to let the artists know in, I don't know, maybe mid to late August. Mm -hmm. And we would want to give ourselves maybe a month to review the the returns. So maybe we would aim for something like a July 1st um, response deadline. And then we might want to go with uh, a mid-April or late April uh, posting okay. date. So correct me if I'm wrong, Tom, but we have a, a process for this for this project because it's been something we've done in the last two years. I know she should have talked about it. So we have I it. haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, but uh Angela assures me that we do have it. Yeah, Shoshona wrote about it actually. So that is something that is actually current. So if we can we can just kind of follow the bones of how that works yeah. and mm -hmm. like you said, project manage it and work backwards. I think yeah. that sounds doable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it's if it's acceptable to the commission, I I would suggest that we go that way. That I can get in touch with Angela. Uh, we we'll set up the the calendar, those dates, as we just ran through them. Mm -hmm. Use, uh, use the past process and web forms, et cetera, et cetera, okay. and be ready to go. Great. Well, th thank you for answering all those questions and outlining it. So I, again, then move that we move forward and uh, with the Electrify Amherst project uh, for three, um, what are they there for three, boxes. what are, uh, electrical? Yeah, three electrical. Boxes, yeah. Electrical mm -hmm. boxes and mm -hmm. um, the call for artists and the timeline as outlined. Okay. All right, I second. And I have a question. Is that if we get more money, does that mean we're going to vote for more? We can vote for more boxes in the future. Is that what we're saying? I think we need uh, before before trying to answer that. I think we need the we need to know about that money in the next few weeks. Okay. So, but uh, what is the what is the commission's what is what what is everybody's feeling about? Uh, you know, adding adding additional boxes to the count. I think since we, you know, if we if we don't, I don't know where this fundraising outreach is going to come from uh, in the next few weeks. So you know, the possibility that we would have to use money um, from what we currently have, which doesn't yet include the money from the town that they're holding that came from the previous, from so the arts. The question was- thing. I, I would say no. My my feeling would be that we should do the three. And then if we get money again, then this is a project we could do again next year. Oh, my question that. was, if we get money in a timely manner, would we want to go forward this year if we get the money? It's still a project to manage. Um, and I think that- we have fewer human resources than we would like. I don't want to bite up more than we can chew, Jim, is my, is my only concern. Okay, yeah. that answers my question. Okay, okay. let, um, let me call for a vote on, on, the, on, the, uh, on the motion that uh, Lori has made and Terry seconded. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. It, aye. It, it passes. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, let's see, let's, let's move on to the percent for art for the new elementary school there. Um, I, I sent everyone a copy of that document. Um, I'll go over quickly a few, a few highlights of it and, and, uh, suggest a focus for our discussion here. Now, let me 
put up that uh, bylaw. I've shared that one here on this on the screen. If we run through the definitions here. Um, they're really talking if, if these are projects that uh, are budgeted at at least a uh, million dollars. And this involves public buildings or spaces. And the artwork is to be permanent for the project. Project is the term used here. The project is to be permanent for that facility, for that, that venue. And uh, we are prompted and reminded here in the uh, first big paragraph uh, on this page that it could be any form of art, paintings, sculptures, engravings, carvings, frescoes, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so it's not limited um, that way. In fact, the intention is put here for it to be fairly broad. And by the way, uh, Jim, you you were um, you you worked on this on this uh, bylaw, I believe. Yes, I was on the percent for our committee, and I did work. So on it. jump in if I'm getting anything wrong or 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 um, getting getting onto dubious reading of, of anything. <laughs> I don't think you will, but dubious okay. reading. Yeah. Okay. Um, again, I'm just trying to do this this quickly. So this could be um, uh, a new a new construction or a renovation. Uh, then we get in. There's quite a bit of language here and in the next section about um, which money counts for this. And I'll just sort of jump to a shortcut to say that the that by um, Paul Bockelman's agreement. Not that that is the deciding factor, but it's a deciding interpretation. It, this does include the elementary school. Um, also, uh, I, Terry and I learned at a meeting with him that this is the first instance where the percent for art is going into action. So we want to get it right. <laughs> okay, well, it's, this is our chance to... Uh, to get it right and blaze the path for the for the future. That's right. Who knows? We'll we'll rebuild the public works building one day. <laughs> uh, okay, and then a key piece here is the last um, element to defined that there is a percent for art advisory committee, a temporary committee appointed by Paul Bockelman. Um, for the project, with and, consultation by Public Art, excuse we me. We actually we actually recommend those those people, we, to and talk. we recommend we recommend the makeup of the of that committee. Now I'm going to take I'm going to take a dive ahead onto page three under responsibilities uh, for us, so that. That uh, project committee is not us, but it's a it's a separate committee, and that we advise on the makeup of it. And this is touched on in item number one under the responsibilities of the of the APAC. So these items all refer to us. Is that what is it one through Jeepers goes mm -hmm. on one through eleven. Now Paul uh, directly asked us to to do what is in number one here, the first item. So uh, this would be to set up the, the guidelines, the APAC to, I mean, set up that, the, help him set up that committee. Uh, and he wants us to help establish um, guidelines for, the, for, the, for that committee to use. And so that would be um, guidelines with regard to the uh, the request that would go for proposals that would go out to artists. Uh, do we want to specify what what kind of artwork, what kind of medium? Uh, do we want to uh, 
say anything about a, a suggested or required theme or topic for it. Uh, and also some advice on where it would go. Now, what we heard was very preliminary at that meeting, we being Terry and I, at the meeting we had with Paul. Um, there are three there are three locations inside the building that are have been discussed in a very preliminary way. So one would be a large wall just inside the front entrance, something that everybody coming into the building would see. A uh, second place would be down at the end of a big corridor on the first floor. And again, that would be a prominent display, but not necessarily for people who are just coming in and going to the office. If you think of the layout of the high school currently, you can go, come right in and go to the office and see very little of the interior. Uh, third interior space, I believe was on the second floor, deeper in the building. Was it maybe by the library or something like that? We It was kind of vague. And then uh, it was also, and oh, then there's also the possibility of, again, a mural going on the outside of the building. And then with regard to a 3D piece of art, 3D work, you know, that might go somewhere in the, you know, outside the building, near the entrance, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So quickly, in summary, uh, Paul would like recommendations on the makeup of the committee. So that could be either the kinds of persons, the profiles of people uh, that we'd like to recommend, um, and and also any names we want to pass along to him as, as uh, suggestions. And then there are those questions about the nature of the work. So I can get on with, with that. All right, the only footnote I'd like to introduce is the introduction to section five says, and I, uh, the percent for art program shall be administered by the Public Art Commission under the supervision of the town manager with the assistance of a percent for art advisory committee. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what I'm suggesting by reading that is that we have quite a bit of to say about this and a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is the total, what, what would that 0.5% amount to approximately so we can know the size of the budget? Well, on a on a million dollars, again, check this French major's arithmetic, but on a million dollars, that's going to be fifty fifty thousand. Um, the project is multiple millions. Now I, I kind of hedge it that way because the question is, which again, how's the accounting on that going to work? They're already they've already, for example, put out, uh, you know, awarded a contract for preliminary work on the site. And that begins, in fact, tomorrow. So they've changed the roadways and going to start excavating. But the main contract for the construction has not been has not been uh, awarded yet. And how much that is what is worth will be worth and um so it'll be it'll be it'll be multiple millions now there's an, a very interesting little clause at the end of the funding section okay where was that yeah funding funding here we go okay okay following consultation with the town Manager, the town council may, by majority vote, lower or eliminate the percentage for art on any qualifying construction project. So I read that to me to be saying that we don't have any guarantee on what that number will be. 
Um, but, and at what it's sort of vague, so I'm I'm a little yeah. curious about how this works. Then, at what point um, do we have a number that we're really able to work with? To um, mm -hmm. think it, because it really depends on on the amount that we're working with as to what you know type of art yeah. and sure. what you know what the parameters would be and so it's mm -hmm. i'm am i reading this correctly that at some point along the way the town can just stop the whole thing by voting not to by voting to eliminate it yes yes yeah and the reason for that is they wouldn't pass it without it but yeah. in so, it, it says really this process means we're really going to have to work hand in hand with town council before we put in a lot of effort, we we will have to get a budget kind of up front and work it out with town council before we do a lot of work, because otherwise and also it's notice it's, it says in consulting with the town manager. So in addition to the town council that we need to smooth, we also can work with the town manager. And I agree with you, we should get everybody committed yep. on the budget before we go forward. So exactly. budget um, yeah. is very important. I mean, if they say they're not going to change it, it takes so most people won't go back on their word. Say that again, Jim. I said, if they say, okay, we agree with this and we will commit to this, very few people will then go back on their word. Right. Mm -hmm. Would this be something that, at, at what point along the way in this project, it's breaking ground this week, right? What, what, at what point in this project do, or it's a question, do we think that um, this would be voted on by the town council? What? I what mean, would we that? present it to them? Yes. Do they present, how do we, we present it to them? So oh. the, what I understood from the process from talking to Paul and from the, our town council representative who was in the meeting that clause is there as a kind of uh, fail safe. Like if, if, if they're going over budget, if there are concerns, you know, there uh, something else was came up as being too expensive, they can all of a sudden say, okay, well, we don't have enough funding to pay for this art project. So that's why it's there. It's like, well, a, I could, but I could, but that's a just in case scenario. But, but it's a just in case that could easily happen towards the end of a project after we've gotten, you know, a call out, we've gotten an artist lined up. If we I'm sign concerned. contracts, yeah, with contracts. The artists, that would be very difficult for them to deny the function because that would force a breach of contract. Yeah. So my view of what we do is early, we decide what the project looks like. We get it written up. We go and give a copy to Paul and get him on board, get a get formally or informally get the town council to agree to it. Mm -hmm. point out to them we have to le let the contracts blah 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 and make it very difficult for them to change their minds later yep. yeah I, my sense again just an interpretation my my view is that the if the town council were to step in uh, uh, according to this clause most likely it would come up front yeah uh, projects have contingency funds uh, built in so that uh, construction overruns, um, you know, sometimes those will exceed contingency funds, but it doesn't necessarily mean they start cannibalizing right. other approved lines. That that gets kind of difficult, as as uh, as Jim's been pointing out. Once you've got some of these things nailed down, uh, they can't be that easily swept aside. My my recommendation is this, that if we come back to Paul and say, well, we're not going to do anything until you tell us how much money you, we've got. Um, I don't think we're going to we're going to move this very quickly. Jim's, Jim's shaking his head. Oh, I don't think that's the way to do it. <laughs> yeah. I, no. I, I can my suggestion those. is that we is that we start working on this right now uh, on the presumption that it's going to be 
at least fifty thousand dollars. I think we can keep in mind too that the biggest single outlay that the town has ever made for public art, as far as I can see, was thirty four thousand five hundred for those poetry boxes. You remember those famous boxes in yep. the wall of the parking garage? They're nice. Um, so if we, I think, I think my recommendation is that we would, there's going to be a negotiation. There's going to be a long series of negotiation over this, I, I think. I think we want to put something out to open it. Well, that, that would be my recommendation. Is, I'm sorry. Let, let me point out that this will be a precedent. And I can also tell you that it originally was going to be a percent for art. And then that cut down to a half a percent for art. Yeah. And so if you go in there with a lowball uh, suggestion that's not a half a percent, mm -hmm. yeah, um, that's going to set a precedent that's going to harm subsequent projects. Right. And also there's a principle of negotiation negotiation that if yeah. you ask for a really big thing and you get turned down then you can say well if you can't do that could you do this and yeah. most people will be inclined to say yes mm -hmm. so yeah. my, my recommendation would be let's mm -hmm. get on the ball let's get it done and let's go for a half a percent yeah agreed. yep agreed agreed at least let's i would say at least half a percent <laughs> well <laughs> I don't, I don't know, Reedy. <laughs> well, meaning sixty or seventy is it maybe just winging well, I'm talking it? About a half down. percent as defined in this statute, the full amount the statute provides for, yeah. and then let them chip back if we have to do that, because mm -hmm. it wasn't easy to get this passed. There was a lot of resistance to spending money on art. Yeah, and well, and I the think... half a percent is for half a percent of the whole project, less you know, whatever they're determining is not the part of the project. The million dollars is, you know, the cutoff, right? Like anything over a million is re this applies to and anything less, it doesn't. Oh, right? I don't know about that. I'll have to look. Oh, I thought that was, that was anything over a million is, is that slow? First of all, anything I under a million, I don't think applies. Yeah, I think exactly. I think right. is correct. It has to be new construction correct, over a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that if it's, it, it doesn't apply to any project that isn't over a million dollars, but that doesn't mean that the, the percent, half percent applies only to the project over a million dollars. And I don't know the answer to that question. Well, that's not how I understood it. Okay. I, I might be, I, I'm just saying, I don't know. But I guess what I'm saying is it could be 5 million. It could be 10 million, you know, whatever. The minimum it's, is it's, a million. Right? The minimum is a million. Yeah. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the minimum we're talking about is fifty thousand dollars. Correct. So I That's think what we need to do is kind of dream dream big and think let's think about what what we think would be a really amazing piece of art for this building. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. you know, speaks to who we are and who we want to be. And and then, you know, think about what that call would look like. Somebody talked to me before he about, was on that what the amount of half a percent applies to, please. Too complicated to do now. Mm -hmm. But we also have to think about it as it is geared towards the children. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because everything is geared towards other stuff. And, you know, I, I just think because both Tom and my kids get, went to uh, Fort River. Well, at least one of Tom's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and just, you know, gear it towards the kids and what's important in Amherst about children and about mm -hmm. education with children. Right. I mm -hmm. think that's something we all need to put our thinking caps on and really think about, not not as adults, but it, for children. Mm -hmm. Plus it is very difficult to take money away from think projects for children politically. Mm -hmm. I when you were describing the building, Tom, and I haven't seen any um you know drawings for it, but I really like the idea of that entrance. Kind you of know, like when you come in. So it sounded like there was a large 
entry mm -hmm. and wall area. Mm -hmm. And so I think there could be something really interesting that an artist could do with yeah. that. It Go could ahead. possibly even be something that is interactive, you know, that, that mm -hmm. moves, mm -hmm. I don't know, but I, I like the idea of that space and, and possibly out an outdoor, some, you know, the outdoor spaces that you've suggested, but I think the one with the most impact sounds like that first entry yeah. space. So there is already something planned for that space too, Tom. If you remember that conversation, there is an interactive uh, wall, big wall monitor that's going to be in that space right up, right inside the front door. That um, is is a is a I think it's like a touch screen. It's going to have a lot of uh, information on it, and um, so I don't know where in proximity to that installation this wall was. I wasn't sure if it was a little bit farther down or. Or where exactly? Mm -hmm. We don't really have the specific location like yet. They just kind of gave us a couple of ideas, right. but right. so okay. where's well, the then diorama think... of the building, Captain? Sorry? Do we know where that is? Wouldn't they have made one? I, if they have, I haven't found it. It it could well be, it, it could be in the superintendent's office. Yeah. Well, I think what we're we're agreeing we're we're suggesting then is that this project be have a focus on being relevant to the students who will be um, right. attending mm -hmm. and be occupying and using the building, so maybe to the the students mm -hmm. and and the staff, mm -hmm. um, but to the to the students and that it be um, in a place that is prominent. Uh, most prominent that will have mm -hmm. the most interaction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and so it may not be that entry hall. If there's something very interactive going on in there, it may be not the right get, space. Then I, I, I got the impression that Paul Bachelman personally liked that space for this piece of art. Again, uh, I bring that up not to try to push this to any kind of conclusion, but to say that it seemed that this was available and that the interactive display as Terry described it was not going to monopolize or compromise that main space. Yeah. Okay. I would, I could visualize what, what they've are thinking about already is maybe being on one of the sidewalls. We don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't think, uh, you know, it's a matter of, gee, we're going to recommend a mural and they've got to paint around a computer display that, um, you know, is going to compromise mm -hmm. it. Thank you. I, That's so sweet. Um, one question I have is, are we talking, do we want to be thinking about one piece of art or do we want to be thinking mm -hmm. about yeah. more than that? Yeah. And could it be architectural? Could it be, um, yeah. mm -hmm. there's, there's a building that's, uh, where I grew up, um, a school, and um, the artist built, created this um, seating area that when you walk in was like a dinosaur or um, I don't know what it was, but it was so you could climb all over it and there were all places to sit for for students to sit and to be able to read and, to, you know, it, it was so cool. So that sounds amazing. It does sound it, amazing. It's so amazing. And I it's call your attention to the first page under definitions, public art artwork means it's very broadly defined as to what public art is in that section. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any so, lots of it options. could be something like that. Something that that students could sit at and draw and you know, it could be architectural. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be on the wall. Mm -hmm. I like I like that. Mm -hmm. I do too. It definitely. I think we need a done. site plan. We need some kind of a like a blueprint of what this building is going to look like, so that right. we can make the determination of what diorama. We we right. So we know what yeah. what areas we have, Before and, we and maybe come we up need with to it. look at like uh, children's um, other children's schools that they have built, or like in children's hospitals they have all sorts of places like this mm -hmm. um, that are interactive for kids. It's going to be uh, preschool through fifth grade. Mm -hmm. And isn't it three stories high? I thought or it was two. two. I... Okay. 
two yeah. story side, which is very rare for Amherst. Yeah, well, I think we're making good progress on this. I'll go back to something maybe it was Laurie said a moment ago or asked, suggested. Um, what if we didn't limit it to one thing? So I could imagine something that's inside the school, inside that prime space that we like. And there's maybe something outside connected with it, some thematic or artistic, mm -hmm. let's call it artistic way. Um, or running with that thought, maybe there are uh, recurring elements of it elsewhere inside inside the the school so that it's yeah, not just one effect. shot right uh, and that there's an experience that sort of moves you know with the person who walks through the building mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah yeah lovely I wonder if, you know, something that if we could think, and it may not need to be today, but about um, kind of this theme that is makes it relevant to uh, the children who will be in, you know, students in the building and also to um, their experience, maybe growing up in Amherst. So maybe it's tied somehow to the landscape, something, I don't know, the ge you know, geography or some subject that relates to, mm -hmm. to, to either what they'll be studying or just to place, the place mm -hmm. of Amherst. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. but, but something that's, that we can do without, um, I mean, I, I know we, I mean, some, some, I don't know how to say this, but, you know, so I, I'm thinking like landscape or the mm -hmm. land itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that... we, there's lots of room for, for, for thinking about this. And I think we should all kind of do some thinking and then come back to, to talking about our ideas. And this might even be really fruitful conversation to have at a retreat that we were trying to right. plan, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Someday, <laughs> but this is something we're supposed to be giving back to the town after this meeting. Is that what I'm? Well, here's uh, here's yeah. my thought. And it just you know, just formulating it as I as as our discussion here goes along. I think we've got to get something back to Paul, like within the week, that um, sort of gathers some of these thoughts and directions and preferences that we're coming up with in this meeting asks some questions about scope budget uh, here so that we, we, we can get some, get, get some more focus that way and then give ourselves with, you know, with that response by ourselves, a little time to meet again sometime in April and May. Oh, I would suggest there, going. Go. Uh -huh. um, in terms of the advisory committee, mm -hmm. I, I think that should be part of what we come back with. Yeah. From this yeah. week as well, and yeah. I don't have specific names, but I think if we could come up with, I have one. Know, great. Yeah, if we have could right. come up with sort of a number of people, you know, that we recommend that there be three or five people on this advisory committee. One is, um, you know, has a background in public art. One in architecture. One in you know art history. Whatever, like just come up with kind of a profile. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. we could do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering um, <clears throat> whether uh, we we can re we can reach into the five colleges or at least UMass. And if there is 
uh, let's say if, if there were a graduate program in architecture, and I know they have one in landscape architecture. They have one in architecture. In architecture. Yep. I'm wondering yeah. whether we could sort of look in that direction to 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 find find somebody. Right. One um, of these and spots. also maybe somebody um in design, interior yeah. design. Yeah. Because there's going to yeah. be an interior mm. design team um, mm -hmm. for yes. the building, and so we Excellent. need to know what their what their scope is, what their color palette is, what mm -hmm. they're going after. Politically, I think it might be a good idea to consider putting an administrator, maybe even the principal of the school, yeah, advisory committee. Tammy Sullivan Daly. I, yeah. I want to be the not fun person to say that we do have other things in our agenda to cover. Mm -hmm. So we probably need to make a decision and move on here. Okay. Um, do, do you I, need names? Let, of let me take not, a, yeah. Yeah, Go ahead, Mikey. Um, do you need names of people that possibly should if, be If we there? have any names, definitely. Yeah. So, um, I have Amy Crawley, who used to be on the Public Arts Commission. Definitely. She is the assistant, um, well, assistant president, in, um, let's see, Gigi's president, assistant Did president she? of the Historical Society yeah. and yeah. an artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, vice president. So I think she needs to be absolutely involved. Mm -hmm. Good. Sounds good to me. I think Paul said that he was thinking something like, you know, seven, seven members, mm -hmm. seven to nine members, yep. and mm -hmm. that two or three of those are going to be people from town government, yep. you know, that he'll put on there. I think obviously, I mean, they're not going to put this together without somebody from the school administration. And DPW probably. Yeah, and DPW. Ms. Restrup is the uh, town planner. Mm -hmm. yep. She lives across the street from me. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And the other the other four should be comprised of people that we, you know, yeah. we advise we yes. We, um, mm -hmm. choose. Okay. I think I've got enough from the last few minutes here that again I can put in a a little I'll call it a placeholder, but some recommendations and thoughts that uh that, that will be useful to um Paul and the others involved in planning this and we'll give us a couple, three weeks to come back again with a second round after Good. we've had a chance to think and talk together some more, some more about it. That sounds great, Tom. Okay. Okay, good. In the interest of um, getting some more business done, uh, Jim, are you ready? And do you have an assistant ready there with you to help on yes, your presentation? Yes, my assistant. <laughs> Gigi's Gigi. coming over because she's been working on this. Uh, well, Gigi, if you want to come and get in here, voice. we'll we'll Hi, list Gigi. you as a Hi. thank you. We'll list you as a as a public contributor to the meeting. Right, <laughs> I'll sign in. You want to care? Yeah, be nice. Yeah. Thank um. You. Yeah. So, some time ago, I started working with um, Eric Browdy about his proposal for a mural exhibition on Amherst's East Common. And I think, did Jim send this to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Eric, of course, passed <laughs> away. And it this is one of those projects that the pandemic helped eclipse and also we were trying to work with the art teachers. I hate that this thing. Well, in the elementary schools, and they were, I don't know, uh, fire, you know, laying off teachers, and the remainder, remaining teachers couldn't take on anything additional, which would have been trying to get students to do artwork for this mural scheme. Um, so it just kind of died on the vine. Um, but since Eric's death, I thought, you know, wouldn't this be a nice sort of pretty long lasting tribute to him and to the contributions he made to the community if we actually got this off the ground? And uh, it turns out that Eric was great about sharing every piece of correspondence with every teacher and everything else. Mm -hmm. So I have a budget that I think Jim sent you. 
today um, for the, uh, you know, scaffolds that hold the these uh, big vinyl panels. It's a doable project. The town was eager to have it put on the East Common. This is, of course, adjacent to Fort River, and whether or not it would be able to get $10,000 from that half percent for art, I don't know. Lynn Griesmer was quite taken about it. We had to make a presentation to the town council to get permission to use the East Common for it. Um, one of the advantages of it is that uh, the hardware can be taken down stored during the winter and then re-erected with new panels if that's the direction that um, it goes in. Uh, this is something that uh, as Eric planned it, um, I think it was going to include something like 30, 30 murals. Uh, he saw this in place, I believe, in Tampa. Tampa is a very large city <laughs> with a very large population. Um, 30 panels may be a bit much for us to handle in Amherst. That would be 10 of these huge scaffold things. They kind of hold up, hold together if they're triangular in shape, like the base. Well, triangular in shape, just leave it at that. Um, so I'm kind of thinking maybe that's too much. Uh, we, we could cut that in half. It would make it much more reasonable in price. Um, we were going to apply to the Amherst Cultural Council. And since it was going to involve high school students um, from the regional high school, we were also applying, thinking of applying to Leverett and you know the other, other schools. Um, I don't know if this is anything that anyone on the Public Arts Commission would like to spearhead. Um, I'm perfectly happy to turn over all of the files and all of the information that I have if there's someone out there that would be interested. Um, mm -hmm. I just think it's too bad to let it die. Lynn Griesmer, by the way, is very high on it. I see her from time to time and she always asks me, so are you going to do the East Common thing? And mm. I I just have to say, I don't know. Um, so there's some support for it. And uh, we did get permission to use the common. The other benefit of doing it on the common and getting it, it would, it would get our name around and would get us possibly some more political support for that and the other various projects we wanted to do because it would be quite noticeable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't see a budget. Uh, with but it, you, what, did, you mentioned ten thousand dollars. So the total budget, and this was twenty twenty two, was twelve thousand ninety two dollars, and that's for thirty panels and related hardware. Eric priced it all out at I think you know Lowe's or uh, Home Depot. It's just all standard hardware you can go out and buy, which is kind of interesting. But and, that doesn't include the, you know, an artist overseeing this or. No, we were going to be using the school teachers to feed us the art. And, and I think Eric, um, I guess we probably were going to get, you know, like three people to jury, jury it. But I think Eric was going to probably be the lead person to follow through on it. Mm -hmm. And, the, and wh what was the idea of what the art would be that was on these panels? So that was the complicated part. It was going to be school uh, students in the schools. And he was hoping for a thematic um, approach, which was something to do with students sort of expressing their identities. Um, it was kind of complicated and I think that may have been too complicated. I think, 
you know, you it could go in a completely different direction. You could do a call for uh, contributions from artists uh, in the community, just in general, or go back to the school idea, but not have it all be uh, contained in a theme. I, I'm not sure that that was going to really be effective. Yeah. And I think it was a stumbling block because I don't think the art teachers thought that they could, in fact, force uh, force is pretty strong, yeah. induce mm -hmm. the students to really aim their artwork towards something like this. So I think that that's open on, you know. And, how... and forgive me, I don't know who this artist was. Was he a teacher in the school? Oh, Eric Browdy? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, he was a long time. Well, he, he and his wife, Daisy, moved to Amherst probably 15 or more years ago. Um, he was very active as a photographer. I remember seeing a show he did that was at Amherst College. He would just take photographs of people on the street, I think, for that one. He started another project, which um, I think collapsed during COVID, um, he decided to take a photograph of every visitor to his house for a year-long period. Um, anyway, he was a member of the Public Arts Commission. He and I got well acquainted on um, serving together on the Amherst Center Cultural District Steering Committee. Um, but he and Rene the Leberge, do you remember? Do all of you remember Renee? No. Um, anyway, I I met them not long after we moved to Amherst. Um, I guess it's through the uh, Cultural Council and a project they wanted to recommend that in fact wasn't going to work, but we spent a lot of time talking about it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Anyway, uh, Eric was uh, very well known in the community, art community when mm -hmm. he was alive. Yeah. His, his name comes up quite a bit in 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 the records, you know. As Gigi said, he was he was active on the town public art scene in a number of different ways, different instances, uh, yeah. both a composer and a guide guiding figure in public yeah. art. He did a series of interviews of um, for I suppose Amherst Media interviews of artists uh, where they could introduce their exhibitions to the public and they were recorded and probably live streamed. And Gigi, I have a couple of couple of comments. Um, one one is that I would be a little bit worried about these uh, lightweight um, items being out there all the time on the commons and you know being vandalized or stolen but on the heels of that thought i could also see them be being used on specific occasions let's say if you know around high school commencement time mm -hmm. you know for seniors artwork right there was some event again we maybe get with the cultural council people that common as far as I see, almost never gets used, unlike the main common. Right. Uh, yeah, there's no way to do this on the town common. It's yeah. But I, I, I would worry that, 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 you know, one, two or three of these things just sitting out there day and night, day after day. They survive very well in Florida. That's nice. And we should look at that because I, I, I'd rather be reassured yeah, and insist on that as as being a, a worry. Oh, well, I is... I agree, but um, not everything gets graffitied, you know. Well, yeah. you know, this is a preliminary stage, and and mm -hmm. if, we, if we like the concept, mm -hmm. I think is the first decision to make is this a concept we wish to endorse, and then that's a an important detail that we would want to thrash out. But mm -hmm. I think it can be thrashed out near the end of the process. Yeah. Yeah, I um, think I think it looks like a really interesting project and one that you know has re relates mm -hmm. to the town in ways that it could be could be used whether it's student work 
or other work, but it also sounds like it needs a, pro a, a significant project manager. It and does. I don't, and I don't see us as a committee, you know, being able to, to take on that role. So to me, it feels like it needs a, a project manager to take it on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, I think is very true. Um, yeah, I mean, I can poke around and see if I, I really don't want to be the project director of it. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I could, mm -hmm. but I, I don't, Mikey's saying, no, you've got the historical society to yeah. worry about. And that yeah. is a worry right now. And it will be for the next two yeah. years. Um, hey, when, when Mikey, when Mikey suggests Overwork is a possibility. Yeah. You know where it's coming from. Yeah. I mean, that's also, you know, if we say we like to do it, we need a project manager. Yeah. We find ourselves a project manager. I mean, yeah. I've got yeah. great relationships right now with people mm -hmm. at UMass. I mean, mm -hmm. and there is an arts administration certificate mm -hmm. program. And mm -hmm. that would be a great place to find someone. This isn't mm -hmm. this isn't mm -hmm. like putting together an international art exhibition with yeah. Like, you know, international mm -hmm. loans and travel and, you know, translating mm -hmm. catalogs into three languages and printing mm -hmm. simultaneously. This is a pretty mm -hmm. simple, straightforward um, yeah. project. And there could well be a student. And some of those are, some of the students in the program are, you know, mature enough to mm -hmm. uh, be able to take responsibility, yeah. uh, nope. make good decisions. Are they grad students or undergrad? I think they're graduate students. Oh, okay. 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 I, I remember yeah, they, not an undergrad. No, right. no, no. This is the arts administration what certificate program. Okay. Okay. And Jenny Jenny Lind, who was on the cultural council, oh, yeah. is. Uh, yeah, I know her. She's at yeah. the you know contemporary mm -hmm. art museum. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Probably could find somebody to mm -hmm. do it, but it needs. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't have to come out of the Public Arts Commission. It's just Jim was saying, you know, like a, six months ago, oh, we don't have a whole lot to do. It's before you kind of remembered the half percent for art. But all right, um, I will I will volunteer to to put some thoughts together, summing up the the suggestions, questions, okay, and the sense sense of this meeting for us to come back and look at again. I'm going to suggest to to everyone that we're, we're we're getting a generally receptive we're feeling good about this we we acknowledge it needs more work to be thought out yeah but uh i i i'd like to keep it alive and help it move okay okay do you want me to contact jenny lind on yeah. behalf of the committee and see mm -hmm. if she has any ideas yes and uh i'd love please... to have lunch with her anyway in this whole yeah. thing <laughs> I used to work with her when I was at five colleges. Oh, okay. I haven't talked to her for several years, but she'll remember me and I'd be very happy to, to be part her. of that sort of exploratory okay. conversation. Terry. This would be a great project for collaboration as well. Yeah. Um, I could see working with a historic district who also have some funds that um, yeah. might be able to be used in this, yeah. this kind of a go. project. I get this wild idea of a uh, sort of a uh, pop-up public art. Yes. Not just something that shows up. But Love something it. That's part of an event. Let's say it was all weekend. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it was a, it was collaborative. I love that. Et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and, and it had artwork that, uh, you know, wasn't going to necessarily be seen otherwise. I don't mean to shove the suggestion the, the 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 proposal in that direction but i'm just sort of free yeah, I, I, I don't i don't know that pop-up is the way to think about yeah. this these are pop-up well, that's, 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 that's old only hat had now. Yeah. 15 panels instead of 30 it's probably yeah. more reasonable yeah and well, i understand I that these these sink into the ground that's what they yeah well okay. no they sit on top of the ground oh oh I think. How do they not blow over? Yeah, I think they'd have to be installed because they. It's the way. It's the way they're joined together. They maybe have spikes that go down, but it's that's it's, what I think I'm down. seeing. Yeah, I see floor flange. Yeah, I think uh, again. I think that's... somebody, somebody in was it Tampa? You said has somebody's yeah. figured this out pretty well, and we should 
we should right. uh, yeah. do a, 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 a remember yeah. there are hurricanes there. So yeah. and they, and they withstand hurricane. hurricane. Right. I think I'll stand through snow. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know that you'd want to leave them up during the winter, but yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. They do on the uh, brochure, the image, the top right, um, this one really shows very nicely uh, how they're installed on a tip of land that goes out into one of the bays. So okay. they're exposed mm -hmm. and um, they're huge. And apparently they don't get graffitied. Anyway, well, I think it's a great idea. I think if Tom has the time and the space to, to help um steward this through i think it's a great idea yeah. um what do you think mikey and Lori? do you are you on board for this kind of thing um i'm on board just not on the committee i totally hear you i <laughs> i can't even raise my hand because my, my, my wife will be like no <laughs> yeah I, i'm okay. i'm in the same boat right. Right. We'll, we'll all agree on that no way we'll no. it's that. like hovering going don't do it yeah. <laughs> now, i bet though that it if if there were if there were an umbrella that you know a recent arts extension student or graduate or there also people get that get kind of stuck in Amherst who are very talented who don't have mm. enough to do um, right. yeah. you could find one of those people and failing yeah. that we'll get Liz Larson to do it she's got yeah. energy <laughs> Yeah, when, when yeah I I'm glad I'm glad you said Liz Larson. I didn't uh, give her name for the other committee. <laughs> I no. gave Amy. <laughs> no, I heard you give Amy. I think Amy would be thrilled. And uh, mm -hmm. on the other committee, yeah, good. Okay. I did. May, I, may I point out that the half percent for art definition includes landscape items, including the artistic placement of man-made fountains or other functional art objects. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. that's this. That would be this. So it's eligible for percent for. I'm sorry, it's Sarasota, not Tampa. Yeah. Sarasota. Okay, thank Sarasota. you. Okay. Yeah. Did, did did everybody get a copy of this, or did I screw up my? No, you did. No, good. we you we did. It. We're good. I got it. Yeah, I got, I got it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Me okay. too. Tom, okay. I'll see if I can get hold of Jenny. And are you generally pretty flexible on, or not? I'm, I'm retired, so I've got nothing but time. <laughs> okay, we love Tom. <laughs> I have no money, but uh, so I'm not going anywhere. Who needs money? money? That's okay. Okay. Yeah. No, I tell, I tell, I've told people that uh, I've retired to genteel poverty, and having worked <laughs> in higher ed for my whole career, I'm well prepared. <laughs> Gigi, okay, thank you so much for presenting. It was great. You're so Gigi, welcome. Wonderful. Thank you for listening. I and thank you, Jim. Yeah. And Daisy, you know, Eric's widow is eager. Oh, and great. Eager to see this go forward. As she said, Eric would say, run with it. So, oh, mm -hmm. neat. Okay, I have yeah. to say that you both look very interesting going in and out of that background. Yeah, yeah. you're like fading into the mountain. <laughs> Grand Canyon. Really, that, that really could be an art piece all on its own. There you go. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, the, the, audience, the, the audience could be projected into the art. Wouldn't that be oh, good? Oh, boy. That would be good. It's like the spiritualism movement in the 19th yes. century where you yes, yes. <laughs> your head just floating yeah. around. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you get back to work. <laughs> okay. The hey. clock is saying eight minutes after seven. I'm going to suggest that we can dispense with the rest of the <clears throat> agenda here. Um, can I just give you just ask you yes, guys one? Mikey, go ahead question because um there's what so we've been uh getting a lot of interested artists but i'm concerned about a, a couple of them so do i just send you guys um information there is a gentleman in california who hmm. sent one in and he's a poet but he doesn't live around here. I, it really I, needs I, to be regional, Mikey. I mean, a new regional can be defined as we choose, but uh, California is not regional. Good, good. I just want to make sure. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's, so you know, Amherst Town Hall, we're, we're really trying to feature regional artists and, and right. give them spaces, not just, you know, people all over the world. They're 
Okay, so the other person is Bree Barnes, who wants to do a whole big thing on transgender. Is yes. Okay, yes. so that's a and there's Gillian Haven, who I know, who did a show in Pelham. Agnes McCraven's doing one in July and August. Yep. Uh, we have Elena Sturm, and then there's a newest one you sent me the other day. Yep. Which so I they're coming. They're coming at us now because we have started this ball rolling and having receptions and getting our name out there. So we right. don't have to go looking for them. They're coming to us, which is really. I'm really proud of you guys. It's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. So the other thing is, is we need to start um, asking for or, or charging them. Um, um, I think we're gonna instead do the other the other thing where we're gonna get a budget from the town. Oh, okay. Okay, and then we, talk, uh, we did talk to Paul about that, and uh, he was receptive to that. Okay, so that's good. And the Cambodian um, group is going to put up um, sort of these paper things because they're doing such a huge exhibit at the Historical Society for May. They're going to put up these um, just just a couple, maybe just in the front section of the uh, of the uh, town hall for may okay mm -hmm. okay great thank, thank you thank and you, for all you your hard work you're going to talk to them right so you want to talk to mick o'connor and Gigi about doing something together with them. doing a reception all together right right well the may 11th is the opening and that's going to be much more about um they're going to have uh uh the the what are they called priests they're not called priests what are the the guys up at um the um peace pagoda the monks the monks are doing a service and an opening of the exhibit at the historical society okay. on may 11th so we should be there yes for sure. that um but uh doing an opening at um the town hall i don't think they want to do that because well, i think it would be nice if if we could show up to the may 11th reception i think that would, um, yeah. would be a great idea i think we sh we can also use the public art web page to mm -hmm. put up right uh, a page for them yeah good right. idea um yeah. they have a um i'll get mick to send information to you tom yes excellent I'll get Mick O'Connor to do it. For yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Sure. And then, so the next reception then will be our um, our our June, our June. Oh no! Yeah. We're, so that we're getting back the um. Right. The but are we going to do a reception for them again? I don't know. We already we had one already. I don't know if we need to. Have I, I don't think I we don't need think to. So. Yeah. I don't think so. I think yeah. uh, the next one is Agnes McCraven for July and August. And then after that, I'll find out from Gillian, Bree, and Alana, Elena, who wants to do the next one. So yeah. I think it might be and we one month for some me? money from the town for these yeah. things. And, and we right. did talk about that, Tom. Yeah, um, yeah. We did kind of mm -hmm. like come up with like a fifty dollars per reception thing, kind of thing. Right. And I think Tom seemed pretty receptive about it, or Paul okay. seemed pretty receptive about yeah. it because mm -hmm. it keeps coming out of pocket and. Yeah, we yeah. can't be funding it. Yeah, I got to reimburse myself. By the way, I still, I still haven't gotten a form for that. Angela's going to send it to me. I need. I got a couple hundred dollars. I need to get back. <laughs> okay, so the other thing is, is I don't get or wherever you're getting the names or these people, I nothing's being sent to me. So from I get. So Angela sends them all to me, and then I send them to okay. you. Okay. Okay, because so I they fill, they fill it in the I'm web form. The, the web form automates an email to Angela, and Angela automatically sends that to Public Art, and okay. I get all those a, forwards. A so the other that, question: the, the all these things are coming to an email address, which is Public Art at Amherst Edu, right? Which uh, Angela monitors. Okay. So he, okay. You know, things yes. coming yes. there could could need to go in any number of different directions. But getting okay. these through to you is a priority, uh, Mikey. Okay. Yeah, so whenever you. those things show up, I try to send them right right over to you, Mikey. Okay. Okay. I just thought maybe I was out of the looper. I wasn't going to the right place. I kept going through and looking. So the other big thing is, is people, I guess, were putting things in um, the library in a box. Um, oh, yeah. We completely 
We, I didn't know anything. I don't think Terry knew oh, anything. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't either. either. I That's remember the... Shoshona telling us that, and then it went in one ear and out the other, and I completely That's... forgot. That's going to get moved to town hall, I believe, Terry. Okay. Is, is that what Angela said? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'd, I'd, I'd hate to think there was a suggestion box out there that we didn't oh, know about. It's got some actual... brilliant ideas in it. I hope people right. aren't putting mail there because I have I didn't know anything. I, I remember she told me that once, I... and then I forgot. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So I okay. suggest you take that form that you're going to get from Angela for reimbursements and send it to each of us so we can keep it so it won't be delayed. Yep. Okay, got it. Good idea. Good idea. All right. Anything else for the good of the orders, I used to say? <laughs> Okay. There is no, uh, we don't have any uh, public uh, here to for public comment, so I think we can pass yeah. right along and. I move we adjourn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I anybody like to, uh, you know. And okay, I, I'm going to guess it's approved. Thank you, everybody. I will send out a, a, a doodle very quickly now, tonight or tomorrow, try to get us together maybe in a couple of weeks so that mm -hmm. we can get some more substance yep. into place on that work for um, percent for art um, and try to get some more information. I'll, I'll start things moving with the town to get a list of locations of boxes we can consider so, so we don't paint one that's going to get taken down, yeah. <laughs> right. et cetera, That'd or we good. don't we don't overlook thing don't overlook boxes that we and could. a dpw has to approve that too yeah yeah and right. you know, i need to talk to you about the amount of money we get yep so okay. can, should i do call you tonight or what do you want to do um that you can call me tonight yeah okay fine thank you tom so much well, for all you. the work you've done i love this inventory yes. I can't wait to go through it and you've done so much work i'm really grateful okay. you have thank you much appreciation you good meeting it's really good Thank to you. see you all. Good night. Thanks. Uh, good night. night. Thank hey, you. Jim, hang on for a sec. Okay, good. <clears throat> it's even better. I yeah. think I can leave without this yeah. going away, right? You, you got it. Okay. Thanks Probably. so much, guys. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, here we are. All right. Is the recording off? Um, no, it's probably still on. Let me give you my phone number. Yes. Okay. 413. Five three zero mm -hmm. seven five one three. Okay, I'll call you right back. Okay, thank you. Bye.